people, 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 people. Que pasa, sac pase, what they do. Now, the first part of this video is called Side Chick. We are talking about Mate. Mate basically flip the lid. It seems like Mate will lose her mind once again. And people, this is the third time that I am speaking about the Side Chick for the past week. So now what happened is that this took place in Woodbury we are speaking about in New Jersey. It is said that it seems like Mate call our man, our man on the side and they made arrangement to hook up. And when she jump in at the cab or jump in at the Uber and reach by the house and I ring the bell, it seems like the man now uh, answer the bell. It seems like the man uh, hide. So therefore, you know, so sometimes these PSYCHO side chick, them get in at them feelings, them get all emotional. So guess what she do? People, she go to the nearest gas station and she buy some lighter and she buy some fluid. And people, guess what? She jump back and she go back at the house and she basically douse it. And then she basically set it for F-I-R-E. So therefore, she set a F-I-R-E for the whole house with the man inside. And she was probably thinking that he had a next woman inside. It is all about jealousy. So now when we listen to stuff like this, we have to wonder as so a to take the bedwork sensation serious. Was she so hot? I saw she heated. I saw the little thing that I jump in at the bingo bag and rate and lele. Fish she got through such an extreme act. So it was said according to the popo, it is said in their report that when the man sees the place kind of a blaze up, him try to escape through a window, him try to take away himself because he did not want to die in this F-I-R-E. So it was said that this woman, Teja Russell, she basically set the place for F-L-A-M-E-S and the man have to take away himself and when the smoke clear, he was found suffering from smoke inhalation and he was also found with second degree B-U-R-N-S so people, we see that it is a serious situation people, we are talking about attempted M-U-R-D-E-R and according to the Popo and the F-I-R-E rescue, them have to save all the man dog, all the man dog nearly lose him life to post foot. So people, we see that this was a very serious position. We are speaking about Matey know your position. We are talking about the devil know your position. We are talking about it seems like Matey do not know her position. It seems that these side chicks are getting out of hand. It seems that they are taking it to the furthest extent, point blank and period. So when the man went to the Popo station and he was questioned, he said that she is a side chick and he basically invite her over for them get them little F-R-E-A-K on and Rete and Lele. But he fell asleep and it seemed like she did not understand. She probably thought that he had a next woman inside of the house and she was not having it because she has said a fear man and my man and Rete. Well, not my man, fear man, point blank and period. So after all of this pasa pasa and drama, we see that this woman is more than likely going to the big house. She is more than likely going to get convicted because she was captured on CCTV. We are talking about closed circuit TV at the gas station buying all of this stuff. And she was also captured on CCTV at the man house before the incident occurred. So people, we are talking about G-U-I-L-T-Y, point blank and period, Rete and Lele. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole situation as it pertains to that. And like I say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. So the next thing that is popping in the news, we are speaking about global superstar. We are speaking about music mogul. We are speaking about Jay-Z. We see that he's been labeled as a sellout after he basically bowed to the NFL and kind of sign some contracts to be a consultant or a musical consultant to fuse the NFL with entertainment RE music. Now people are saying that Jay-Z is a sellout due to the fact that there has been a lot of pasa pasa and drama as it pertains to the NFL and the players, mostly or specifically black players, as it pertains to them kneeling during the playing of the national anthem. 
Now people, a lot of people were coming out, we are speaking about top athletes, we are speaking about top NFL players and they were saying that they are not standing up, they are not saluting the national anthem because of all of the unjustified K-I-L-L-I-N-G-S by the popo of young black youths. So therefore there was a big controversy, a big drama as it pertains to that. So we see that one specific athlete we are speaking about quarterback Colin Kaepernick of the San Francisco 49ers. He was basically the frontman or the leader of the revolution. So he was the one that was basically standing up and taking a stance against the injustice of the popo killings and Rete and Lele. So Colin Kaepernick made a post on Instagram basically disapproving of Jay-Z's move to sign a contract with the NFL because it seemed like he was bowing. It seemed like he did not respect the plight of black people all over the place. So they must say he is a big time sellout and he is looking out for the money. And what makes this situation even more startling or mind-boggling is that at first it seems like Jay-Z also took a stance because he was also slated to perform at the Super Bowl and he basically denied it or declined it because of the situation. So now people are shocked. So people are now wondering and pondering, is it the amount of money in this contract? Did Jay-Z actually sell out for the money? Is it all about the molar? Is money the root of all evil and people? The truth and the fact is that that is the way that it would seem. Because based on what Jay-Z is saying that they have moved past the kneeling and Rete and Lele. But the truth and the fact is that the NFL has not addressed the elephant in the room which is that. So the point is that if they have not addressed that issue, that means that they have no respect for black people and specifically the black players and specifically the black nation in America and all over the world. It is all about prejudice, point blank and period. So anyway, people, that is my views on that situation. And like I said, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Now the first part of this video is about a 29 year old man that was basically held by the popo yesterday on suspicion of jumping women and young lady fence. Now people, when we talk about jump people fence, we talk about R-A-P-E. He was held on several instances of doing that sort of C-R-I-M-E. I am speaking about a person whose name is Ramando Kerr. He is from Smithfield. We are speaking about in Westmoreland and he is said to be an upholsterer by trade. So anyways, he was held after an intensive investigation by the criminal investigation branch in Asavla Mar. And based on the Popo report, it is said that they have determined that he poses a very serious T-H-R-E-A-T -E to women and young ladies in the community. So he was held under the state of emergency rules. And people, if you don't know what that SOE, I am speaking about the state of emergency policy is, it means that they can hold you indefinitely. That means that they can hold you until they investigate you. They can hold you until they take you to trial. They can hold you until they convict you. So therefore, he has no reason, his lawyer has no reason into going to court and asking for a bail because more than likely his bail is going to be declined. So people will say that that is good news because I can just imagine as a woman living in that community that she is going to feel very tense and she can now breathe a sense of relief because she knows that one of those P-R-E-D-I-T-O-R-S is off the street and where he belongs behind the bars in the big house in the slammer point blank and period. So he was taken to court yesterday and the popo gave the judge an update on the investigation and they told the judge that he will be going for an identification parade on the 16th of August 2019 and he is to return to court on the 20th of August 2019. So people that is the latest on that. So anyways people that is my views on the whole situation as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section.